Today I will show you how to run Portable Windows 11 using Tiny11. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to our next videos. How to download Tiny11. Search the internet for Tiny11. Search for Tiny11 at archive.org and open this website. Download the Tiny11 ISO image appropriate for your system. In the description of this video, you will find all the links for this video as well as other useful videos. Wait for the download to finish. When it is ready, we have to download the program with which we will create the portable USB. Search in Google for Rufus. Go to the website and download the latest release. Rufus is a program with the help of which you can easily format and create bootable USB drives and memory cards. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to our next videos. When Rufus is downloaded, go to Downloads and run it. If you have more than one USB, select the USB drive you will use. Click on Select, navigate to the location of the ISO image, and open it. Now choose Windows to go. Choose the MBR or GPT type, or leave it as the default. Now click Start. Here read and check the options you want, and confirm. The creation of Windows to go started it. Creation time is very relative and depends on your system and USB drive. On my Lenovo ThinkPad T470 system, it took close to 40 minutes. When it's ready, close Rufus and restart your computer to load Windows to go from the USB drive. After rebooting, enter boot menu. Check in your computer's manufacturer's documentation to see which button is responsible for starting the boot menu. Boot your USB flash drive. The first boot will take longer for Windows to apply the necessary settings. Be patient and wait. If you forcibly interrupt the installation, it is possible to damage the system on the USB drive. The loading time will be different from what you see in the video. If your USB device and system are faster, it will be better. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to our next videos.
Now we need to complete the settings for our system and account. In the next steps, you will see how to make a local account. Do not connect to the internet yet. Select I have no internet, and then select continue with limited setup. Accept the Microsoft terms. Now, type your username. Enter your password or leave the fields blank if you want to log in automatically. Here, make your choice and continue with accept. I forgot to mention that the USB drive I use for this video is a SanDisk Ultra Flare 128GB model with a speed of 150MB/S. If you can use a USB drive with a higher speed, your experience will be even better. Okay, we have our portable windows now. I recommend that you install the most necessary or all drivers for your system to make it work better. Drivers are probably the most important part after your configuration to ensure the good and trouble-free operation of your computer. You can watch my video guide, Easy Export, Backup, and Install All Drivers in Windows. There is a link to it in the description. Now I'll just wait for the Windows update to find and install whatever it finds for my system. While the Windows update is done, I will install Google Chrome, explore the system, and show you how to install a different theme because Tiny11 comes with only one theme. Tiny11 is a modified version of Windows 11 that is designed to take up as little storage space as possible. It is created by a third-party developer named NTDEV, who uses a tool called OSD Builder to remove some of the components and features of Windows 11 that are not essential for basic computing tasks. Some of the advantages of Tiny11 are. It can run on low-end or old computers that do not meet the official requirements for Windows 11. It can be installed on unsupported devices, such as those without TPM 2.0 or Secure Boot. It can be upgraded from Windows 10 without losing any data or settings. It can be customized and remastered using the Tiny11 Core Edition, which only needs 3GB of disk space. Some of the disadvantages of Tiny11 are. It is not activated and requires a genuine Windows 11 key to use all the features. It is not supported or recognized by Microsoft and may not receive any security. After Windows Update finishes installing updates and drivers, you need to restart your computer. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to our next videos. Everything is fine, and you can use Tiny11. According to your needs, you can install only the most necessary or everything you like, but keep in mind that the more programs and updates there are on your USB, the slower it will be, and the purpose of this Windows Portable is to use it during your travels, such as rescue. You can add a new theme wallpaper and customize Tiny11, everything is like Windows 11.
Everything seen so far in this video was on a Lenovo ThinkPad T470 system. Now we will test the Tiny 11 Live USB boot on two other machines. The first test is on an old Samsung laptop from 2007 with an Intel Pentium processor and 8GB of RAM. Ok, we now have portable Windows 11 on my old laptop. In fact, I'm convinced again that Tiny 11 is made for such machines. Install the most necessary or all drivers for your system to perform better. I remind you again that you can watch my video guide on easy export, backup, and installation of all drivers in Windows. There is a link to it in the description. If you chose to access the internal drive, you can search for the drivers one by one there, just see how I do it in the following steps. This method would be very useful if you boot Tiny11 on a completely unknown computer, so you will be able to use the drivers installed on its internal disk if you don't have an internet connection. Of course, if Windows is installed on the disk. We will now test the Tiny 11 Live USB boot on a new 2022 configuration with an AMD Ryzen 3 3200G processor and 16GB. With a live USB drive being made, it can be booted and run directly from the drive without affecting the host computer. You can use a live USB for various purposes, such as troubleshoot or repair a computer that won't boot normally. Testing the compatibility and performance of your hardware. Create a backup or recovery system in case of an emergency. There are also many Linux distributions that can be used as a live USB, such as Puppy Linux, Kali Linux, Portus Linux, MX Linux, and Parrot OS 12. You can also create a Windows 10 or Windows Today I showed you how to run portable Windows 11 using Tiny11. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to our next videos. Take care.